in this high school how-to, I'm going to tell you how to get ready for a date. Um, the first step is to make sure she knows that it's a date. This can avoid many awkward situations in the future. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. I was wondering if we could go on a date on Thursday since we don't have school Friday. Yeah. Um, yeah, just tell me when and then I'll decide what we're doing. Okay. I'll see you then. Okay, bye. It is crucial for you to decide what you're going to do. Mo dinner is a given, movies are nice, and of course you're going to have to pay. But make sure you pick out where you're eating and what you're going to see. Or at least narrow it down. Girls typically don't like indecisive guys or when they have to be put on the spot and choose themselves. Night of the date, take a shower. I can't think of anything a girl would find more attractive than a guy that smells bad. Just guessing though. It also helps that you get body wash that matches the cologne you're going to wear, but we'll talk about that later. Next, you need to shave unintentional facial hair. She's not going to be into that. Brush your teeth. Don't just think gum is going to help. Before you go pick her up, you can slip in a piece of gum so your breath's still fresh. And don't forget to floss. Next, apply antipresent anti anti uh, um, deodorant. Uh, and, uh, even though you may have put some on that morning, just go ahead and freshen it up because you have taken a shower since then and you've probably perspirant, perspirated, sweat some, a lot. Cologne. This is a big problem for a lot of people. Three squirts max. You don't want her gagging from your fumes. <laughs> also, don't try to mix scents, okay? <laughs> if you try to get creative, you're gonna smell like the front entrance of women's Nordstrom's. It's a fact. I'm just saying. Clothing is obviously a really big deal, and if you're really ugly, it's best to get some really flashy clothes so she looks at them and not your face. I'm joking, but not really. Avoid anything related to sports. Even if it's a nice shirt, and even if she's into sports, it's just best to not go out in public wearing sportswear. And, of course, it just depends on the occasion. If you're going to be indoors, long sleeves all the way, but if you're going to the drive-in or something, you may want to consider short sleeves. But universally, western-style button-downs from Guess or The Buckle, they're the best. And they fit pretty much everyone well, and they're thin, so they'll breathe, and you won't respir perspir you won't sweat on your date. Once you pick that out, roll up your sleeves. You look like a dweeb if you don't. Roll them up. Shorts are a no, no matter what. I don't care if you're having a picnic in the Sahara Desert at noon. Never wear shorts on a date. Always long pants. Jeans, jeans, jeans. Most people think that jeans are too casual, but trust me, if you get not heavily ripped dark jeans with light stitching, then they'll be much more appropriate than khakis or slacks. And if you follow all these steps, you should be all set for your date. See ya!